Sri Lanka is gravely concerned about the disappointment expressed by the delegation of the Netherlands on the outcome of the Council's special session on Sri Lanka last year. It may be recalled that it was a few days following the defeat of the world's most brutal terrorist organization that countries like the Netherlands thought it fit to bring about a special session on Sri Lanka. Undoubtedly, there seemed to be little understanding on whether innocent civilians were to continue living in an insecure environment under the jackboot of a terrorist organization or face temporary displacement in the annihilation of terrorism. Obviously, the government of Sri Lanka, being responsible to its people, correctly chose to ensure a safe and secure environment for the citizens to live in dignity. The government of Sri Lanka has delivered on this undertaking to the point that over 200,000 have left the welfare villages within six months and remaining 65,000 to be resettled following the demining of their original areas of habitat and also when a component of them voluntarily decided to leave. In fact, the progress in the resettlement of IDPs has been acknowledged by the Secretary General of the United Nations. It is extremely disconcerting to observe that a member of the Human Rights Council would so belatedly to question the challenge and challenge an intergovernmental decision taken following due consultation and the rules of procedure, which we believe the Netherlands was also a party to. This reference has also brought into question the integrity of other sovereign nations who also participated in this decision-making process. The practice initiated by the Netherlands in its statement does not augur well as we embark on the review of the Council the mistimed and ill-conceived special session on Sri Lanka initiated at the instance of the Netherlands and its partners only resulted in polarizing the member states of this council. It is abundantly clear that the reference to Sri Lanka that the Netherlands did not have the understanding in May last year and neither nearly a year later on the complexities of the conflict which lasted over three decades in Sri Lanka. Mr. President, it is hoped that the Netherlands would not be self-righteous and seek to engage constructively rather than cry over legitimately spilt milk. Mr. President, we were compelled to listen with great circumspection to the analogy by the Netherlands on the rules in a game of football, which clearly did not unfortunately reflect the final analysis of sportsmanship that one must have the discipline and the courage to accept the result at the final whistle and walk away from the field as a true spokesman, bearing in mind that golden lesson we draw from sport, that whether one wins or loses, one must learn to play the game. To do otherwise will mean that nothing more than to expect the coach to put it in their words or the referee to be playing on your side to ensure an inequitable result. It is important, therefore, Mr. President, to remember that this Council is founded upon mutual trust and cooperation which would ensure observance of fairness. It is precisely for this reason that we must take care to forestall individual and parochial interests superseding this Council's prerogative of conclusively pronouncing on matters concerning member states. There must therefore be finality consequent upon a determination.